What's up everybody, Andrew Mahong here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off a Pikachu V deck that can hit big one hit KO numbers for just two energy with its powerful circle circuit attack. This deck's a lot of fun to play and I'm stoked to show off the list, but before we get to it, I wanted to take a moment to let you know I am selling these screen printed Tricky Jim t-shirts for a limited time. You can find them in the description below. There's a link to my Etsy store. They're 20 bucks and all the proceeds help to support the channel. So thank you so much to everybody who's already placed an order for one. It really helps the channel a lot. Now let's check out that Pikachu V deck. This Pikachu V promo has got some awesome artwork. I love the pose on this card and its circle circuit attack is pretty good. For two landing energy, it does 30 damage for each of your bench Pokemon. This Pikachu goes best in expanded format where we have access to Skyfield, a stadium card from Roaring Skies that allows each player to have up to eight Pokemon on their bench. With a full bench of eight, Pikachu V's circle circuit attack is swinging for a base 240 damage, enough damage to one hit KO almost every other Pokemon V for just two energy. And then we could boost that damage even further with the help of Electro Power from Lost Thunder, which increases our lightning Pokemon's attacks by 30 damage on the turn that we play it, and it stacks, meaning that Pikachu V's Circle Circuit attack can easily hit 300, 330 plus damage for just two energy. And then to help us finish off games, we also have Pikachu V Max, whose G Max Volt Tackle attack does 120 damage, and then you can discard all energy from this Pikachu V Max to do 150 more damage. So you can hit for 270 base damage, and then with Electro Power, easily hit hit over 300 damage, but you have to discard all your energy, so the Pikachu VMAX is usually best at the end of the game, which is why we only play one. This deck can also hit for fighting and psychic type weakness, thanks to Marshadow GX and Mew from Fates Collide. Mew from Fates Glide has the Memories of Dawn ability, which allows it to use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. Great for hitting into those Psychic Weak Pokemon like Rapid Strike or Shifu VMAX, as well as Mewtwo Mew Tag Team GX. And then Marshadow GX has the Shadow Hunt ability, which allows it to use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in the discard pile. Great for hitting other Lightning type decks for weakness, and also your Dark type decks for weakness. And then this deck has a very aggressive draw engine as you can see here, featuring Crobat V, Dedenne GX, Trainer's Mail, Quick Balls, Ultra Balls, Versus Seekers. It's a very speedy deck to play and a lot of fun. So check out the highlights from the stream and let me know what do you think of this Pikachu V deck in the comments below. Yeah, I love me a no Versus Seeker deck, that's for sure. You don't need Versus Seeker. Just, you don't need, Versus Seeker's a crutch. That's for sure. Look at this opening hand. I mean, what am I doing with these things? Nothing. All right. We are playing against the Nuzzle deck. I'm playing against all these single prize decks that I just frankly am not trading very well with. I think I need a target whistle in this, in this Pikachu deck. Did my opponent just leave no room for a Pikachu? Where are you putting the Pikachu there, bud? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Pikachu go? They have no Pika. Oh, Boa, be nice. They might have a plan. I bet you they Ninja Boy. They Ninja Boy into, into, into Pikachu. Guarantee it. I bet they Ninja Boy into Pikachu. Yeah, they're already next leveling us for sure. Now nah, we're going and getting the Vikavolt, baby. Okay. Grab that guy. Grab that guy. Vikavolt. Max Elixir. Nice. Here and N. Okay, we've got the guarantee. I think I don't want to actually give them Skyfield, right? No. Yeah, that seems suboptimal. Let's see, I can attach the energy to the active, tap a Cocoa the energy over. That's fine. to guarantee it. Yeah, we'll 
we'll bench that. Yeah, we definitely don't want to Skyfield. We'll Crowbat. See if we can get one more Lightning Energy in the discard pile. Okay, we can. Or I could try Max Elixir. Dowsing Machine for... Uh, yeah, Dowsing Machine's cool. I'll just grab the Dowsing Machine, guarantee it. Guarantee max value out of our... Tapu Coco Prism Star, and we can grab another Max Elixir is cool. Dance of the Ancients, Gnarly. Come on, there we go, very good. And then, yeah, I mean, look how insane Lightning decks are. Like, is this not, this is turn one, dude. Turn one. Five energy in play, turn one. And I'm not even playing a Pikaram deck. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? This is insane. Turn one, Paralyzing Bolt. Pikachu V set up on the bench, ready to go. And, you know, we're just... Uh, Going to be able to keep our opponent item locked the entire game. Now, something about something about this uh, this deck is that it doesn't rely on items to set up. As we can see, they're just nuzzly gathering, right? They're just gathering all the fellas. Oh, they play Skyfield. Okay. Look at all these fellas. All right, Pikachu's down. Two Pikachu's down. Uh-oh. And you already know they're going to be accelerating an absolute mammoth amount of energy into play. But the thing is, I'm so bodied. The thing is that... Oh, okay, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saved, actually. Well... How many verse seeker in my discard pile? Zero. All right, we're gonna Lele for the Guzma. Okay, Guzma Pikachu. Um, do I just knock it out with my Pikachu? Or do I data change and look for a... I might data change and look for like an Electro Power to item lock it. Um, I don't know. Having back-to-back -back Verse Seeker seems good. So I think we just are going to Circle Circuit here and just take the knockout and then see what they do. So like, yeah, they could play items again. They got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16... Which is fine, because if they come up with Raichu, and if they don't, I just have Verse Seeker to gust another Pikachu. And then we can just... And they probably do play Bolton. Yeah. Oh, Marshadow. Yeah, that's right. Marshadow. Yes, yes, yes. We can bump the stadium. Make them... Yes. True. There we go. We need that as well. I wanted to keep the other Verse Seeker in my hand, so I didn't day-day change because it's going to be good to Guzma again this next turn and just try to target down these Pikachus. Most definitely. And it looks like, yes, they're trying to go for a bigger Snuggly Generator play to get more energy, so I think attacking with the Pikachu feels good there. They've got teammates. Okay. I know they can eat. It looks like they're building up another turn. So I think we're chilling. I think so. Yeah, Snuggly Generator. Okay. But I know they've got their Raichus in hand. I mean, but look at how much energy is in play. This deck has probably got like 
20 energy in it. That is just something else. Okay, here we go. Trainer's mail. Another versus seeker. Um, I think I can grab that to just thin it. Max Elixir. Throw that onto the Zara Aura. Verse Seeker for Guzma. Guzma. Pikachu. Day Day Change. Marshadow. Electro Power. Um, and I can just Field Blower first and then paralyzing bolt yeah so we'll field blower let's see I think I want to put down that's fine field blower that then they have to discard like a lot of energy And then I'll sack my Lele, my Crobat, my Dedenny. And just kind of have a board position with good stuff. Thankfully, we got the stadium removal cards in our deck, or else that would have been a little uh, ugly, I think. But, I mean, look, we're moving like uh, 2, 4, 6. We're moving like almost 6 energy, 5 energy from play, so... That is pretty good. And we're knocking out a Pikachu, leaving them with just one Pikachu. All right, we're going to discard to Denny, Crobat, Lele, and Paralyzing Bolts for knockout. I could have I could have discarded the egg. Probably should have done that, but it's fine. Ah, we're chilling. Chilling. I can now rescue Stretcher for those guys back. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, we could have bumped the egg. And then I could actually use the egg. It's not like those things on my bench. I mean, they're like kind of, you know, they're things I don't want to get uh, gusted up, I guess. But it doesn't really matter. Now they are item locked. They've got... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 200. So they can knock out my Vika Volt with one more energy, which is tough. Because all they have to go is knock out, knock out, knock out, and that's game. But they don't have the bench to, like, they don't have another Pikachu down, right? So it doesn't matter. Like, I'm taking this knockout here, and now, oh, they do have one Pikachu here. No. We have to hope that they can't stream it again and again, right? Hmm. I guess we're going to go Ultra Ball. Did a change. Maybe see if I can't end. Thing is, you can't really end this deck. I Pikachu V Max. And I could. Oh, I think that that's probably just the play, right? Yeah, Pikachu V Max. Because then I forgot I can attack without discarding. Yeah, that's epic. We're totally doing that. And then go here. And then we end them to two. That seems like the maneuver. Right, and it'll fix the trade. Or, no, I'm ending them to four, but still better than their big hand that they've got. It fixes the trade for me. We like that. <laughs> no. And then they should have to two-hit KO this, and then I can finish off the game with Zera Aura GX. Right? Should be able to. 
Uh, I think that that's the hope. They've got the Raichu in their hand, but I don't think that they're going to have a final... Oh, they've got this guy. Who do you... What do you do? Discard any amount of lightning energy from this Pokemon then for each energy discard in this way. Oh, it's that guy. This dude ain't cutting it. Sorry, Shining Lancer. I know. They have to go for the nuzzle deck out strategy. That would have been a lot of nuzzles in a row. Okay, we can go G-Max Volt Tackle. No discard. And then should be GG's this next turn. And I believe we are going to be taking the win against the Nuzzle Raichu deck. Oh, you think they play Scramble? I mean, I guess. But Scramble only moves 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean... So they could do like 120 spread? I mean, Scramble could at maximum get only a few energy, four energy out of this thing. You need... Oh, and a Tails again on Nuzzle. Well played there, Shining Lancer. Well played. And we do 540 damage. Yeah, we'll see. Shining Lance, you got that. You got your Nuzzle Raichu list. Oh, let's peep. Oh, the scramble switch, dude. 23 lightning energy, Shining Lance. Oh. They've got a 2-2-1 two, two, on the Raichus. Okay. And they do play, they do play Coco GX. So you could go Coco GX into Scramble Switch. Fuck, that's insane. <laughs> it's an Electro Ray. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're going first. We've got a pretty good opening hand. I don't know what I'm playing against. But... I think I'm just going to pass and then see what they're doing. They got a Dedenne GX opening. I mean, I've got an energy on my Pikachu V that's exactly what we want turn one. See, I don't know what kind of deck they're playing. So they do play Skyfield, so I'm not going to need this. Maybe they're playing Turbo Dark. I actually think that we can beat Turbo Dark. Uh, for sure. And it looks like they are definitely playing Turbo Dark. Because our main attacker... Ooh, it might be Turbo Dark featuring Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. So they're going to be going for the turn one double dragon. To get energy on that. Uh, or to get their Alter Creation GX going. I do think that we should probably jam a Target Whistle. And a great catcher into this deck. Should we not, chat? I think we just need a target whistle. A target whistle and a great catcher, right? So that way you can just knock out the ADP and then you can just target whistle and knock it out again. Can we actually do enough damage? I mean, I guess you have to double Electra Power. That's asking quite a bit. But I do think that great catcher would be good in this list for sure. You could put a... Ranger in the deck. Certainly. I'm pretty confident. Oh, we don't even need it. They play Greninja and Zork. That's right. Oh, we're totally fine. We go knockout, knockout game. Mr. Hopeful. Thank you for that prime sub, Mr. Hopeful. I appreciate it in the two months. Uh... We didn't have space for the muscle band. But we can use Pikachu VMAX. Yeah, you don't really need the muscle band because you can go into Pikachu VMAX. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why we're not playing it. Because they're going to go Alter Creation. Oh, they didn't even hit the Alter cre Oh, we're in there, chats. We are in there. 
Thank you, Kyle, for that Prime sub as well. Appreciate the support, Kyle. Oh, we've got Crobats, double Electro Power. Crobats. Oh boy, let's see. Um, I have double Electro Powered. Triple Electro Power, and I'm doing three, six, nine with three Electro Powers. I mean, I could Guzma. Um, which would like not be the worst thing in the world. But I guess if I just knock out the active, but I have all these Electro Powers down. So I feel like at this point, like I'm not going to be one hit KOing the ADP unless I. Yeah, let's go here. I think we'll get Lele. And the Guzma is in the deck. All right, let's see if we hit this. We do. Okay. And then I can go get Guzma. And I'm doing 180 damage to the ADP this turn, and they haven't used, um, you know, they haven't used Alter Creation yet. So I think that this is fine. And the reason I'm doing this is because I already have two Electro Powers down, and I need my Electro Powers to knock out the ADP. So I still think, I still think that they'll go with Alter Creation, right? Because they see all these like two prize Pokemon on my board, and they're probably like, "Okay, I have to like." But now I have the opportunity to evolve into Pikachu V Max, right? And when I evolve into Pikachu V Max and take the knockout on this ADP with an Electro Power, then all I have to do is gust the Greninja's arc, and we win. So, I think that that's what we're gonna do. That's at least like the the game plan here, which seems solid. Unless they like whip up enough darkness energy to knock out my, you know, Pikachu. In which case, then we like, <laughs> then we're in a really bad spot. But I'm confident. I'm confident they're just going to go with the alter creation. ADP loves to alter creation. They love to alter creation, chats. They absolutely adore using alter creation. All right, here we are. And we're going to max elixir. Okay, get an energy onto the Vika Volts, and then we've got Juniper. So we do have to find our Pikachu V Max in the deck. Let's see if we can find that thing. We've got lots of good cards here. Quick Ball, we can do that for sure. We've got the third energy, which is very good. We've got the Mew, and I just need to make sure that I can Dowsing Machine, yep, yeah, uh, these way, and go get Quick Ball to dig a little bit further into the deck and quick ball away this and go get ourselves another Crobats. The Pikachu VMAX is in the deck. I have two Ultra Balls in the deck, cool. So we're gonna slam that down, slam that down. Crobats, draw some cards. And we are looking for, oh boy. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I've got the knockout either way, but it, it does kind of matter if we don't find it. Um, yeah, it would be very beneficial if we could just find the VMAX. So we're going to attempt Max Elixir first to thin the deck. Um, don't you hate it? Like, here's the Ultra Ball, okay? The correct play is to play Max Elixir first to attempt to thin your deck more so that then when you play the Quick Ball, or when you play the trainer's mail, then your deck should theoretically be one card thinner. Theoretically, right? Or at least has the option to be one card thinner. But like here, as we could see, it hurts. All right. It hurts. And then here's the actual correct way to sequence it. And we get a float stone. Yep. Love it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, all righty then. I guess I'm using Circle Circuit, baby. (laughs) 
Um, okay. Do I... I've used my dowsing machine, and so if they come up with Greninja's Orc, I guess I'll just circle circuit. Oh, it hurts. It's fine. I mean, I think they're taking the knockout with Greninja and Zorg. I mean, they do only have two energy in, in play, to be fair. But I guess they could go up with the... The thing that would really sting is if they just go double drag and ultra necrosm with me, right? So. I do have Marshadow GX. This is true. So. And I haven't used a Dene yet. They do have free retreat, so they could just go into the Ultra Necrozma. I mean, I could end them, you know, which is... It's an option. If I need to, like, try and stall, we could end them. We definitely... I mean, if we just hit the Pikachu VMAX, then I just am win on, you know, on Gust. Looks like they're digging a little bit further. Oh, they can't alter and across me because of the ability. True. You're right. So they have to... I was imagining maybe they play Silent Lab. But uh, I need to have two prizes remaining for them to be able to do that. They might not have enough energy. I mean, dang, look. Four dark in the discard pile. They are going to field blower. Okay. Kick all their liabilities. I'll kick my liabilities. Seems fine. Yeah, I don't have a lot of supporter cards in the deck, so it's better to be able... Oh, they miss! Oh! Oh! You're saying it's GG's. Look who decided to show up. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> easy yeah easy does it chat tapu lele do you guys think that they'll print another tapu lele effect for standard format do you think we're getting this back a pokemon v i mean they kind of you know redid shaman in some ways they kind of redid a verse seeker effect there's a Mewtwo and Mew over there. Okay. It feels inevitable, right? That we would eventually get a similar effect to Tapu Lele as a Pokemon V. And then... Uh, I think the new stadium is really good. The stadium that turns off what Pokemon V abilities, right? Yeah, that new stadium I think is going to be very good in standard formats. We've definitely got a good opening hand. My opponent's, okay, getting rid of the old Flash Ray. Jolteon. It's the kind of uh, card that makes us wish that we played uh, just Fion would be great. Oh, but I have Pikachu VMAX. Oh, yeah, they're done. Yeah, if they flash ray me, they're absolutely done. We got, we got the Pikachu VMAX. I was like, dang, man, we really just get walled out by that? No, we don't. Not at all. Got Pikachu VMAX to take care of. Oh, yeah. And the Pikachu VMAX is in the deck. We're golden, chat. Absolutely golden. Okay. We're going to go get Pikachu V. Bench that. Bench that. Tapu Coco is in the deck. Okay. 
quick ball away the rescue stretcher go for her crowbats having the free retreater in the active is definitely nice don't have to go for a float stone Mew is very good opener for us uh oh somebody stop me we've got Guzma I could go for the turn one Okay, I have attached to this. But I could retreat, Max Elixir, Tapu Koko. Dowsing Machine for, oh, but I can't. I can't quite do it all to take the knockout on the Me Too Mew turn one. Right, because I would have to retreat. But, all right, let's just try to see if we get this. We do. All right. Okay, so we've got this. What if I get rid of... That's such a... No, no, no. That's such a nonsense play. We just don't need to do it. All right. The Guzma play is too greedy. It's too greedy, chat. It's too greedy. We just have to keep it pushing. Nah. We're just going to keep it going here. Tapu Coco. We want to save the Tapu Coco. Okay. And then we could just put these dudes down. Um. Yeah, I'll retreat first into the Pikachu. Dance of the Ancients. Onto those guys. Put Mew down. It's circle circuit. Cool. So we'll take the knockout. Turn one, 210 damage. And we've got the Mew on our bench ready to go. They've only got one energy on their Mew to a Mew. So we'll see what they go for. They do have Dimension Valley, so I have to kick a couple of these guys. We can get rid of probably the Crowbat, the Dedenny, and the Crowbat. Save these guys. I haven't seen a supporter other than Guzma yet. They can turn off their own weakness, but if they use something cheeky like Flash Ray, I can just evolve into Pikachu VMAX. Granted, I don't have the energy yet to be able to effectively utilize it, but they are giving my Mew one less colorless attack cost with the Dimension Valley, so I can actually use Paralyzing Bolt this next turn, right? Can go for the... Uh, Paralyzing bolts with my own Mew. Now they have turned off their weaknesses, which is a little bit frustrating. Oh, they do have Fighting Fury belts. It's going to make that Mewtwo and Mew a little bit more difficult to knock out. I do play Field Blower in the deck, though. The problem is also if I fail to knock it out, they can damage change, which is uh, which is tough. So let's see what they've got. Uh, we are bench jammed right now. Unfortunately, I do have to Denny GX as a draw out, but they're just gonna massive bloom and take the knockouts. Okay. Which leaves me free to try and one Hikeo this thing. I get down with that for sure. So let's see if we can hit this max elixir. We don't. Uh, we can't hit for weakness. Electro power. I think I have to not evolve into the VMAX. But if I don't evolve into the VMAX, I'm committing. If I don't evolve into VMAX. Um, okay. I mean, I guess I could just go Gust Gust game. So we could go Guzma up. Jirachi 
go for knockout with Pikachu V and then potentially finish off the Mewtwo and Mew for weakness next turn. But I have to find an, a lightning energy off of this. I think is what... I think that that's probably my best bet. So we're going to go for it. Guzma that guy. And I need the energy. So we'll data change. I guess I don't technically need need the energy because I can just attack with Mew, but I want to save the Mew. Okay, so we're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Um, and then I can play this so that I don't... I guess we'll play that. And then I can use the Electro Power, which is fine. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... 18. Oh, I guess I don't have to. Yeah, there's no point. Okay. So we'll just go here and circle circuit. We take the knockout, take two more prizes. And then we find a Lele, which is good, and a Max Elixir. Now I should have a Pikachu left in my deck. The Mew has got one energy on it. Um, if they use something, and again, and they're in this situation where it's like, okay, they can knock out my my Pikachu, but they have to use an attack that doesn't protect them like Massive Bloom. Or they can use something that does protect them like Flash Ray, but then if they use something that protects them like Flash Ray, then they leave my Pikachu here and I could potentially go finish the game off. Uh, they could use something with Mega Guardi that like removes their bench, but if they do that, then they leave themselves open to getting knocked out with a Mew. So... It's, uh, it's definitely a weird situation. And I wonder if they have a rescue stretcher to bring the Jirachi GX back to turn their weakness back off. And if they do put a Dimension Valley back down, I could just you know go up with Mew, attach one energy, and actually copy Super Zap Cannon for knockout as well. So those are both options for me. See, they do have Guzma, so we'll see what they go for. How many Electro Powers? I have one Electro Power on the discard pile. So if they gust and knock out my Mew, then I can just draw as many cards as I can and go for the big 310 damage. I just need a couple of Electro Powers. Well, I guess I would need three. All right, so they're going to Flash Ray. They protect themselves from the attacks of basic Pokemon, and we just have the game here. We can go Verse Seeker. And Guzma, again, just the old boss, boss game. And we go for the circle circuit for knockout. And that is going to be GG's. Nice top deck there to finish it off. All right, chat. Let's go. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.